Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central. And now I haven't done a lot of videos about the band Velvet Revolver. I'm kind of lukewarm on the band. They have some good songs, but then they have a lot of stuff that is kind of like meh. But let's talk about something that maybe you guys hadn't heard before. And that's about the time Velvet Revolver got sued for plagiarism and they lost. So according to an article that was published in 2008, um, Velvet Revolver had a song on their first album called Dirty Little Thing. It was never officially released as a single, but they did shoot a video for it. And they had played it live on Jay Leno's Tonight Show back in 2005. So according to an article dated August 20th, 2008, uh, Velvet Revolver had settled the plagiarism suit of Tony Newton of Voodoo Six. So this, the band they apparently ripped the song off of was a band called Voodoo Six. So according to the article, rock supergroup Velvet Revolver have agreed to hand over a fifth of all royalties from their 2004 album Contraband after learning the riff to Pretty Little Thing was actually, it's actually called Dirty Little Thing, the article's a little bit wrong, a hit was stolen. So Voodoo Six star Tony Newton called on his publishers to fight for a deal after hearing the song for the first time and realizing it was a copy of his Dirty Little Thing tune, but never expected the uh, matter to be settled so quietly and quickly. He says, when I checked it out, the song, I generally couldn't believe it because it wasn't even as if it was close. It was basically the same riff. I called my publishers to check whether they knew anything, which of course they didn't, and then basically left left it with them. I never really expected to hear more about it and was surprised that anyone I heard from Universal had settled with Velvet Revolver. So according to Newton, the settlement not only secures him a windfall, he'll also receive all future royalties from digital, live, and commercial uses of the song. The post on Music Radar suggested that Tony Newton got a heads up from a friend. Now the post quotes Newton, a couple of years back, a mate of mine in LA called me to say he'd heard what he thought was my song on the radio and that he had been a bit shocked when he realized it was Velvet Revolver. So in an interview that slashed it almost 10 years later in January of 2018, he admitted that Velvet Revolver accidentally plagiarized one of their biggest hits. So he basically told Molly Cruz, Nikki Six, uh, that before Velvet Revolver really became VR, we'd written these two parts of one song, Duff McKagan, Matt Sorum, and I. And we were working with some other guys who will remain nameless, who brought in the other two parts of the song. So when Velvet Revolver came together, we kept that song as it was. And it turned out that the other two guys had lifted their parts from a band that they were rehearsing next door to. So that band heard the song and said, those are our riffs. We didn't even know what the F they were talking about. And then we, when we heard who it was... Uh, that there was a band who was rehearsing next door. So when we heard the record, the song, I heard whose parts those were, and I was like, oh, F. Now, asked if those guys got songwriting credit, Slash replied, not the original band, but the guys who we were working with. Uh, but all, the only thing is that we're getting sued by the original band for that song. So if I had to venture a guess at who I think the two guys that like Velvet Revolver was rehearsing with back in the day, I'm going to take a, a get wild guess and say it's the guys from Buck Cherry. So Buck Cherry Singer recalled the early version of Velvet Revolver in a 2006 interview. So Launch Radio reports that back in 2002, Buck Cherry Singer Joshua Todd and guitarist Keith Nelson were invited by former Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash to play with him, ex-Guns N' Roses bassist Duff McKagan and drummer Matt Sorum at a Benefit concert. The show went so well that Todd and Nelson thought they had the makings of a new band, and Todd basically told Launch what happened next. We felt like we had good chemistry, so we decided to call them... And they were thinking of the same thing that we were thinking. And we got into the studio and started writing for about a month, he said. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, Slash came in one day and pulled the trigger on the thing. He just said he couldn't do it anymore. I guess he had his own vision and where they, where he wanted to take the band and what he wanted to do with it. And it wasn't with me as singer or Keith as a guitar player. So after splitting with Todd and Nelson, Slash, McKagan, and Storm, of course, recruited Stone Temple Pilot singer Scott Wallen, And the project would turn into Velvet Revolver. That does it for today's video. I'm trying to find that song. It used to be on YouTube or I found it on some website, but I can't find that song Cyber Babe for any reason. But if you guys are able to find it, please put it in the link in the uh, comment section below. Make sure you guys hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you love GNR as much as I do. Thanks for watching, guys, and have yourself a good one. And go check us out at GNRcentral.com for the latest, greatest Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver news sticker. Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs>